Today is about to be the greatest day of your life because you're going to learn how to hit the golf ball good every single time. But you might be thinking to yourself, Tom, it's impossible to hit good every single time because I'm not a professional. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can have awesome contact with the golf ball just like the pros by doing this one simple trick in your golf swing. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about having a consistent golf swing. How do you have a repeatable golf swing? And it comes from getting your body and your arms synced up. More importantly, a repeatable golf swing is one where you have one contact point every single time. So when I get over this golf ball and I hit it, there darn well be a divot in front of that golf ball. Oh, that sounded good. That ball's going to the moon and back. Get out of the park. Whew, that felt good. Almost too good for the start of an episode. I got over that golf shot, didn't even think about it, hit it perfectly pure. I haven't gone to the range in a week. Crazy, right? Well. It's not too crazy when you think about what we're going to be doing in today's episode, which is having one consistent point of contact. Drop your club for a second, chuck it on the ground, hold your arms straight out in front of you. Now trace a circle like this, like we're doing jumping jacks without jumping. Okay, this circle I'm tracing, that's your golf swing circle. I want you to imagine that from your golf ball all the way up, that's the path the club is taking. This should be a perfect circle, not a giant ellipse. You know, like a lot of people tell you to do this whole ellipse thing. Woo your contact point is there. Trace a perfect circle. To do that, you've got to keep your arms the same length throughout the golf swing. Your contact point is there. If you don't shift and you keep your arms straight, you're going to return the club to the same spot every time. It's proven. It will happen. It will happen. Take your club now, put it in your hands, keep your arms straight, and when I say straight, I mean push those things out there. Pits out. Get pitted. Yeah. These inner elbow pits, point them out. And none of this flubbing here, none of this T-Rex posture, none of that. That's, that's just short arming it from your posture. If you, look at, if you look at yourself in a mirror and you see this, run because your contact points all over the place your swing is going to be inconsistent no matter what you do and i'll just cry for you i'll pray for you so the key here you got these arms way out there way out there like a ufo so far away from me they're out there the reason you need to feel this is because if these arms shorten up at all your contact point is going to change but if you want to eliminate variables in your golf swing just keep the arms straight and then really keep them straight. Don't even think about the wrists. Keep them super straight and just make some chip-like, pitch-like swings here. And you might be feeling something different. One, you're gonna say, Tom, man, my arms are really straight there. I didn't know you want them that straight. Should they be that straight? Yes, they should. Here's the second thing you're gonna notice. As you keep the arms really straight, it's gonna connect your upper arms to your side. When you do that, it engages your body with the arms, so it syncs up the body and the arms. So now you've got this powerful foundation for your golf swing. You've got something that can be repeatable. We're not talking about having an all arm swing. We're not talking about having an all just start the body and let the arms follow. We're talking about everything working together. The arms are straight. They connect the upper pecs to your biceps here, and you're going to have this beautiful connection that engages the whole body. So now the shoulders are turning, now the hips are turning. You've got all this power that you've just created out of thin air. And you know how much work you're doing? About 99% less than you were before watching this video. So the magic of the golf swing is keeping the arms straight. And straight, by straight I mean straighter than straight. You're keeping them straight. There is some speed in those arms too. I'm not even working that hard. I'm not trying to hit the ball hard. I'm not trying to force things to happen. The power is built into the straight arms. There's so many good things in here. It's like a bag full of Oreos. It's tasteful. It's amazing. Keep the arms really straight. Then you're thinking, well, I need my wrist to hinge, don't I? Yeah, you do. 
but you don't need them to. You don't need to tell them to. Because if the lead arm stays straight, and the trail arm stays straight, at some point, the trail arm's gotta say, I need to fold or else I'm gonna break. So you keep that arm going across the chest. Boom, trail arm folds, wrist hinge. I'm not thinking about wrist hinge. It's too much thinking for one day. Once again, arms are super, super straight. I could do this all day long. Don't you want that? Don't you want that? Go to a driving range, you see everybody's doing this whole thing where they stand over the golf ball and they look like this. Let's take the yellow ball. They get over the golf ball and they're like this in the setup. The arms are all chickened out and then they don't really have much of a grip. They keep their weight over the right side and by the time they get to the top of the backswing, they've lifted the thing and they've broken down the arms and then they chop at it and then something weird happens. It's the weirdest part. The cycle repeats itself. They get a ball, they put it on the ground, they set up to it again like this, they put the weight on the right side, and I, this is every day. They take the club back, they lift it, they flub it, they throw their clubs in the lake. If you are doing that, if you have no measurable consistency in your golf game, go right to the arms being straight. It's the most basic concept. You must learn to create one point of contact every single time, hitting the ground in the same spot every single time. Why are the pros so good? Because they hit the ground in the same spot every single time. Why was Ben Hogan so good? Because he hit the ground in the same spot every single time. You don't need to practice a million hours to do this. You just keep the pits out, get pitted, keep them straight throughout the entirety of the golf swing. Wow, I just, it blows my mind. Even the best players have issues with this and that's why you see them working on the arm staying straight because everything in your golf swing is flowing from this concept. And I just pureed another golf shot there, like the fourth, the third, or fourth one in a row while talking to you. If it was hard, I wouldn't be able to do that. If it was impossible, I couldn't do that. I'd, I'd have to sit there and get a calculator out and figure out the angle of the sun and the moon, a protractor on this, and where the gravitational pull of the Earth is spinning 50,000 miles an hour. It's too much work. Arms straight. Arms very straight. Keep them together throughout the entire golf swing. Oh, another one. Another one bites the dust. So if you're looking for this kind of consistency, this is what's going on in the Segudo.golf online golf school. You're learning how to do this for just 10 bucks a month. It's just go in there for 10 bucks a month. You start playing the best golf of your life. What are you waiting for? You get in there, You'll learn how to do all of this stuff. You'll build your swing. And you'll get out of these old habits that have been keeping you locked up in a cage for 50 years. And why am I so passionate about this? It's because I was just like you, doing the same old stupid stuff that everybody's been teaching for the past 50 years. And guess what? It was insanity because it wasn't working. And it's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. Why is the average golf score 100? Because they're learning the same old stupid stuff they've been doing for 50 years. It's not a lack of effort on your part because you're going to the driving range and you're practicing your butt off and you're hitting thousands of balls and you love golf. But wouldn't you love golf so much more if you just threw that frustration out the window and just started doing something a little different? Yeah, you would. You would, that's why the Segudo.golf online school is helping people play the best golf right now. People come in, shooting mid 90s, and when they're working through the program, they start shooting 82 or better. It's amazing. You don't have to be stuck in this whole vat of confusion like the rest of the golfing world's been stuck in for far too long. It's time for the golfing world 
to get on the path to success. Get into some simpler things that work. Stop timing. Stop relying on timing. You should be able to go on a vacation for three weeks, come back, and your golf swing's right where you left it. Beautiful, crispy golf shots. Arms super straight, super straight. Get pitted out, pits out. Nice connection here because of that. Keep them that way, don't change it. And you're gonna have a nice crispy golf shot. Hit the squirrel. So much fun. This is a ton of fun. When you hit a golf ball like that, you're gonna start seeing little white marks in the center of the face. It's just you keeping your arms straight, keeping your point of contact the same. That's everything you need to know on how to hit it good every single time. So then you go out in the driving range. What are you gonna do? You're gonna keep your arms straight. You know what you're gonna to do too? You're gonna to find somebody on the driving range who's doing this. And they're doing this. And you're gonna come up to them and you're gonna say, hey, I was watching this Segudo golf episode. The guy said to keep his arms straight. I've been mashing the ball. Because he's gonna be like right in front of you. And he's gonna hear nothing but this. You're just cannoning shots out there and you're so giddy because it's a ton of fun. And this guy's gonna be like, I want that, I want that. So you're gonna send him to this video and he's gonna get that. You just tell him, hey man, get pitted. Get those arms out. Don't do this. Hey, don't do that. Be really gentle in your approach. Get the arms out. And then even if you have to pull them out for him, hey, I know your arms are stuck in there. Pull them out there. Even if you have to surgically remove them, I don't recommend that. Arms are straight, weight is forward. Keep it there, don't change a thing. Don't change it. You change it, if you change it, it's not gonna be good. That one was a little tin, but you know what? It wasn't terrible. Don't change a thing. You got it here, you got the money in the setup. Don't change a thing, keep your body where it is. Oh, that felt good. Man, does it get any better? That's KFC to the T-bone. All right, Segudo golfers, thanks for tuning in today. If you want to play the best golf of your life, check out my website, segudo.golf, 10 bucks to start playing the best golf of your life. Go check it out. You can go to the golf school by clicking here. Subscribe by clicking here to play the best golf of your life. And here are two selections from the Segudo Golf Archives to help you play your best golf right now. Thanks for tuning in, and have a rocking week.